and all the panel board on the back was just completely soaked. When Dallas and his wife moved to their new condo, they noticed problems almost immediately. There was high humidity, and once winter hit, all of the windows froze up and mold began forming. My main concern is the safety of my children. Like, I don't want them to get sick from potential, potential black mold, as they would like to call it. While the walls around the windows have been replaced, the humidity and condensation still exist. Now there are other problems. The ground beneath the concrete foundation has sunk five inches, the air ducts have fallen, and the sewer lines aren't working properly. Despite some repairs, the condo still has an occasional stench. We don't know what to do. We've thought about bankruptcy, we thought about foreclosure, I've looked at a second mortgage, the possibilities there, but to really afford it, probably not. The Somerset Villa condos were constructed just four years ago. 129 units exist, and it's believed around 30 of them are plagued with serious problems. In the wintertime, these windows, that window, the front window, and the freeze up solid. In fact, sometimes we have a hard time getting out of here. And it is condensation has been our biggest problem. When Franz wakes up, he says the humidity level is 85%. After running a dehumidifier during the day, the level drops to around 65% in the main living area. They're working on it, so they tell me. The developer is classic construction, and while the owner says he feels terrible, he isn't apologizing for the situation. We had asked to attend the uh, annual general meeting in May, and uh, they said no, they didn't want that. Then we tried to meet with them in June, and then we sent emails in July trying to set up a meeting, and instead, uh, when we were hoping for our meeting at the end of July, instead we were served with uh, some papers from a lawyer. The papers are a $5 million lawsuit. The condo board is suing for repairs and damages to property. The lawsuit alleges Classic failed to properly install the ventilation, heating, mechanical and roof drainage systems. It also claims the building foundation is incompatible with soil conditions and generally that the condos are unfit for habitation. It's not the building, it's nothing to do with the construction of the building. It just has to do with the high water content and we've got to find out how, how it's happening and how to deal with it. There are 16 parties named as defendants in the lawsuit, including the City of Medicine Hat. It's alleged the project does not comply with the Alberta Building Code and city staff failed to properly supervise construction. The city isn't commenting, although the Safety Codes Department tells us they conducted upwards of 10 inspections during construction of Somerset Villas. For developer classic construction, they say this isn't a $5 million issue, rather that the problems can be fixed for more like $250,000. There's nothing that can't be fixed, and we were working on fixing it when they decided to go this route. To pay for consultants, engineers and lawyers, the condo board issued an assessment to unit owners, ranging from $14 to $1,600. Expenses have forced several residents to enter foreclosure. For John Kent and his wife, theirs is next. The condo was supposed to be their forever home, but they're walking away from the mortgage and renting an apartment. We have no other choice. we got to get out of here because the financial situation here is absolutely ridiculously impossible. At age 72, France is going back to work. He has a job interview tomorrow morning as a sales clerk. I'm a pensioner. I only, uh, my pensions only go so far. It's what he has to do, he says, to stay living here a little longer. Kyle Bax, Chat News.